How's it going, everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So last week we covered some news that Rina Sawayama and Donnie Yen were set to star in John Wick Chapter 4. And this week we actually got quite a bit of news for John Wick Chapter 4, so we're going to kind of dive into that right now. And starting it off with a rumor that has been debunked earlier this week, some sites such as Screen Rant were running with a report that Wesley Snipes was supposed to be in Chapter 4 as a swordsman of some sort. However, that report has since proven to be false. Screen Rant itself has run an update stating that apparently there were talks with Wesley Snipes. However, those fell through and as far as I'm aware, he will not be in Chapter 4. But now we can move into the more substantial news articles. So first, we got a casting stating that Shamir Anderson, an actor most famous for roles in films such as Bruised and Stowaway, as well as having a role in the series Winona Earp, has been cast as an undisclosed role in John Wick Chapter 4. Much like the Rina Sawayama casting from last week, I can't say that I've actually seen Shamir Anderson's work, so I can't make a judgment personally on whether this is a good thing or a bad thing for the franchise, but I have heard some good things about this actor, so it'll be interesting to see what he brings to the table going forward. Next up on the casting news is Bill Skosgard, who's most famous for playing Pennywise in the it franchise is said to be in talks per deadline and collider i believe for an undisclosed role in john wick chapter 4 as well now we know nothing about this role we don't even know 100 percent if he is part of the film or not however my personal speculation is that he will play a villain of some sort and possibly someone related to the tarasov family the reason why I say that is that this is the third major Swedish actor in the franchise, the first being the late Mikael Nikvist, who played Vigo Tarasov in the first film, and then of course the second film gave us Peter Stormare as his brother, so I'm thinking that possibly, now this is just my own personal theory or rumor or whatever, that Bill Skosgard could be playing another member of that family to continue the tradition of using Swedish actors as Russian mob bosses or something. That has not been confirmed anywhere. That is just my own personal speculation. However, the Bill Skosgard rumor does appear to be true, at least at this point in time. And the last update for this particular video is a massive one. This is on the same tier, in my opinion, as the Donnie Yen news from last week and that is that japanese superstar action legend hiriki sonata has been cast in john wick chapter 4 so this is not a rumor it is not a in talks type development issue kind of thing like the previous one according to the article from collider and deadline he has been 100 percent cast in the role so this is much like the donnie yen news from last week if somehow you don't know who hiriki sonata is he has been an actor in japanese cinema for decades beginning all the way back in the late 1960s early 1970s as a child actor and then he became part of sony chiba's action troop which was one of the earliest stunt teams in japanese cinema something along the lines of jackie chan's group and from there he tried to reinvent himself several times he ended up actually going to england to study theater and returned to Japanese film as a serious dramatic actor and then became world famous in the West starting with The Last Samurai where he played the role of Ujio alongside Tom Cruise and Ken Watanabe. Now we had had a report earlier in the week as well that Lawrence Fishburne was returning in the role of the Bowery King which is not a surprise to anyone probably who has followed the franchise but in that interview, Lawrence Fishburne made mention of a character called Mr. Watanabe. And apparently, 
that character is being played by Hiroki Sonata in this film. And Chad Stahelski himself was quoted as stating, Having long admired Hiroki as both actor and action performer, I'm thrilled and honored to welcome him to the John Wick family. So that statement, while kind of vague, tells me that Hiroki Sonata has been cast not only because of his dramatic acting skills, but also for his years of work as a stuntman and action star under Sony Chiba in the early stages of his career. So we could see some amazing stuff from this film, considering the casting of, of course, Keanu Reeves returning, who Hiroki Sonata worked with in 47 Ronin, as well as Donnie Yen being confirmed last week. I personally think that this film has potential to be the best in the franchise and has shot up to the most anticipated film of 2022 in my personal opinion. So as with the video last week, if you're a fan of the John Wick franchise, tell me what your thoughts are about this casting below and if not, you know, let me know what your opinion is about this as well. Let's get a discussion started in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like, and as always, thanks for watching. See ya.